Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to be taking you through a 2020 end of year ritual. I know that so many of you guys are ready to be done with 2020, but it's really important that we clear out past belief systems, experiences, and energies for 2020 before we move into 2021. The day that I am filming this, it is actually 12 21 2020, which if you didn't know, it's a big portal of energy opening up. It's also Saturn and Jupiter conjunction. The energy is just about letting go. So let's get right into it. We're going to start off with cleansing your space. We're going to start off with clearing our space, getting rid of clutter, and then also doing a nice energy cleanse. So I'm going to be using purple sage for this, homegrown purple sage, but you can use whatever you want. I also have a video on smoke-free alternatives and different ways that you can cleanse your space without smoke. I will link that video right up here so you can go and check that out if you want to. But like I said, we're just going to give our spaces a nice good clean get rid of all of that clutter I like to pick things up and I think this is the Marie Kondo way of doing things but looking at things say does this bring me joy what is my attachment to this and then just deciding if I want to get rid of it or I want to keep it and I love to do this at the beginning of every year to just get rid of all of the things that are no longer serving me so once I finish doing that I like to do a nice good energy cleanse make sure you crack open a window if you can to kind of let that energy out I'm starting off at the entrances of all of my rooms and going up and down into every nook and cranny. Energy really gets stuck into corners of spaces. So I try to make sure that I'm very diligent with everything that I'm doing and making sure I'm getting into every corner to get all of the energy out, especially for a fresh new year. We are going to get into some journal prompts. I will leave them down below just in case you want to check them out after. But you can also pause this video and do this along with me at your own pace if you would like. We're gonna grab our journals, light some candles, light some incense, get nice and cozy. I'm gonna light some frankincense because it is all about prosperity and abundance and frankincense is also very clearing. That's what I'm using, but again, just use whatever you want and whatever you have available to you. First, I want you to grab a piece of paper, rip it out of your journal, if it's in a journal, and make a list of all of the experiences and energies and belief systems that you picked up in 2020 that you want to let go of. We're gonna be doing something with this paper later on, so we'll just put it aside for now and then we will come back to it later. The next journal prompt that I have for you is how how did you challenge yourself to grow this year? What were your biggest lessons and what were your biggest challenges? Now I want you to make note of all of the practices and all the things that you implemented or the things that you started to do in 2020 that changed your life. So maybe that was meditation, maybe that was getting out and going for walks, maybe that was even just taking time for yourself. It's really important that we reflect and give ourselves props for all of the things that we did to help ourselves through 2020 with it being the year that it was. The next one that I have for you is how have you changed since the beginning of the year physically emotionally mentally and spiritually next up we are going to write down our top five favorite moments and experiences of this year and I know what you might be thinking Sarah I stayed at home and I didn't do anything this year and that is completely okay. Whether you were able to travel and do different things this year or you weren't, I still want you to make note of all of your favorite things that you did. They could be big experiences, they could be little experiences. Most of mine, if not all of mine, have been really little experiences and that is completely okay. Even if it is just something that you saw online that brought you a lot of joy and made you really happy, those are amazing things too. I'll give you an example of one of my simple ones, but just right at home in Canada, I've been in Canada all year. I went to a cottage and I woke up super early in the morning. No one else was awake. It was really cold outside. I went and I walked around in the forest and it was completely silent and I just sat on the lake and watched the water and the stillness and I think that moment is literally going to be like etched into my brain for the rest of my life because it was so magical. Then to sum it all up, we are going to give 2020 a word to kind of remember it by. Let's try to put a positive spin on it, even if it wasn't the best year of your life. Was it transformational? Was it a year of growth? Was it a year of introspection? For me personally, this year was a year of tremendous transformation and growth. Now that we are done with all of our reflections and our journaling, we're going to take that first page where we wrote everything that we wanted to let go of, and we're going to put it in some type of flame safe bowl, and we are going to burn those guys. As you are burning your pieces of paper, you can say in your head or out loud, thank 
you for all of the lessons you have taught me. I am ready to let go of you now. Once our pieces of paper are all burned up, we are gonna go and give ourselves an energetic cleanse. So if you can take a bath, amazing. Put some salt in there, put some essential oil. Salt is very clearing and cleansing. Same with water. Water is a very cleansing element for your energy body. But if you can't take a bath, then you can fill up a jug or some type of bowl with water and salt and bring that into the shower with you and pour it on your body from your neck down. Again, holding the intention to let go of all of the energy from 2020 so that we can get ready to start off our year with some fresh new energy. Thank you for tuning into this end of year ritual with me. Now we're gonna be ready to move into 2021 with fresh, clear energy, ready to start a new year. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. I make videos every week. Until then, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Keep radiating that good ass energy and I will see you in the next one. Bye!